Guys and girls, in today's episode, we're gonna forget about all kinds of flashy skills and stepovers and instead have a small lecture of a kind because I'm gonna go through the five things that make any player like you a great midfielder. And hopefully, watching this episode, you're not only gonna learn something but also discover some areas that you can improve on. So let's go! Number one wide range of passing. In my opinion, the number one most important feature of any great midfielder is that they can pass the ball in a number of different ways. You want to be able to pass the ball with the inside and outside of your foot, lift the ball off the ground, pass the ball on the floor, you get the point. And the simple reason you want to be able to have a wide range of passing is that you can always give the pass the game at that situation requires. If you can't lift the ball off the ground, obviously you're gonna be super limited. So work on being able to pass the ball in a number of different ways in order for you to get some playing time and improve as a midfielder. Number two, comfortable playing with both feet. Now, let me start off by saying that it's totally fine to have one considerably stronger foot, but any above decent level center midfielder can also give those through balls with their weak foot. In the midfield area, the balls are coming to you from all directions, and you don't always have the luxury to set yourself up for your stronger foot. So being able to pass and control the ball with your other weak foot as well makes you more versatile as you're not simply depending on the ball coming towards you from certain direction. Now, in my opinion, out of all the different positions, wingers are more likely to get away with only being one-footed. But as a central midfielder, I'm sorry to break you the news, you're gonna have to practice that weak foot as well. Number three, great reading of the game. Obviously, as the center mid, you are the engine and the brain of the team. And a lot of the attacking play always goes through you. So not only is it very important for you to understand and recognize all the different situations before they even happen, but you're also responsible for pacing the game. Great reading of the game is knowing when to go fast and when to hold back a little bit. Should you go for the quick counter-attack or hold the ball with your team a little longer? Reading of the game is something you're gonna develop throughout your entire career. Experience is key here. But if you want my honest opinion, some people just have it more than others. I'm sorry to say that, but some people just simply understand the game. They understand and read football better than others. But even if you don't, again, experience is key here. Number four, awareness. While this point is somewhat related to great reading of the game, awareness is still a big standalone feature of any great midfielder. In short, awareness means playing with your head up so you can spot both your teammates and opponents at all times, which in turn should enable you to make faster and better decisions the moment you actually get the ball. Now, awareness could potentially mean spotting opponents closing in on you while you have the ball and being able to recognize your teammate making a great run while you're actually dribbling with the ball. And the good news is that you can practice awareness with tons of exercises that I'm not going to go into today, but the number one starting point is to always keep your head up. Last but not least, we're gonna talk a little bit about technique. And before I start, it's important for me to notice that technique in football can mean a whole lot of different things. It could mean stepovers, fancy flick ups, first touch, passing the ball, all that good stuff. But to clarify what I'm after here, I'm actually gonna read a little quote from the late, great, legendary Johan Cruyff. Technique is not being able to juggle a ball a thousand times. Anyone can do that by practicing. Then go and work in the circus. Technique is passing the ball with one touch, with the right speed, at the right time, to the correct foot of your teammate. So to break down that sentence, in order for you to be a midfielder that is considered to be a player with great technique, you don't have to be able to do a million silly stepovers and be able to flick up the ball over your head in 5,000 different ways. Instead, try to master the things and scenarios that are game-like, that every midfielder faces in every football match. Work on passing the ball with your first touch. 
work on passing the ball to the correct foot of your teammate to set him up nicely. Work on game-like situations, trust me. Obviously, being a central midfielder means that you have to be more or less a complete footballer. And before you guys leave the episode, I need you to chip in in the comment section below and let me know if I missed some key pointers that make people great midfielders. If you want to see more tutorials and skill videos that make you a better football player, you can watch the playlist right down here. And of course, go and follow us on Instagram. You can find all the links down there in the description below. That's it for today. I'm out.